Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tech's Garage. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about a camera system for your RV. So let's jump right into it. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I have this micro mini behind me. This is my 23 foot camper that I do off the grid camping and also I camp in the winter. So I have tons of videos already out about all the accessories, over 100 plus accessories I've done. So check out the links down below or up here. And also I've done videos on my water system, my solar system and so on. So check those out. But today we're talking about the camera system I put around the camper. So the reason for the camera system is twofold. One is for helping out when I'm driving and parking and two is for a little added security when boondocking. So what I have on the camper is something called a Fuku 1080p 4 camera wireless system. There's a link down below for all the products. And guys, if you want to help support the channel, there's also a link down to my Amazon page where you can pick up anything that I talk about in all of my videos. So be sure you check that out. So with the four camera wireless system, let's first talk about security and then I'm going to talk about how it helps me when I'm driving down the road. So let's start on the front. In the front of my camper, I do not have a window. So it's a blind spot when it comes to security at nighttime. So I have a camera pointing at the front. Now, if you look right behind me, right in the middle of the two speakers there, there's a camera pointing at my patio. At the back, there's a camera. I have two cameras in the back. You can't have them both on because it's only a four camera system, but I choose which one I want. One camera is pointing far down the road in case I'm traveling in convoy on a long road trip and I want to see uh, if uh, the people behind me are lost or if they stay close together. And the other one, which I use more frequently, is just pointing right down where uh, I can see the back of the camper. This helps for my motorcycle that I store on the back or my luggage I store on the back, and it definitely helps for parking. Now, on the other side of the camper, obviously I have another camera. That camera I installed on the slide, so I'm gonna show you how I did that wiring so you can also do it on your slide. So here on the camera on the slide, I have some slack of the wiring. I put it down the side here and then I just let the wiring hang. It is screwed to the side there and there. But when the slide closes, all that does is fold down. It has not ever kinked and I've put the slide in hundreds of times. Now, if you stay to the end, I'll show you a diagram on how I actually wired all of these to the system. I'm completely off the grid, so I run on batteries. I never really go to RV sites. So that being said, I made sure I put my cameras on a master kill switch. Now the master kill switch just helps me preserve the battery when I know I don't need the cameras. For instance, if I find a boondocking spot at let's say two o'clock and I don't care about having the cameras on, I can just turn that master switch off and help preserve the battery. So right here is my switch panel. There is my camera system. As you can see, I've installed a 12 volt system right here. Firstly, to charge my cell phones, my GPS, and then keep the camera going. As you can see, the camera is just a 12 volt cigarette plug. And then I just installed a simple off switch. Now that off switch actually kills the power to this section, but the cameras are still drawing power. So let me show you what I've done. The cameras have to have 12 volt power to them because they broadcast their own signal that is then sent to the monitor. So what I've done is I've hooked all the cameras up to this switch. That way I can absolutely kill all the power. As you can see, the monitor is receiving signal. I'll hit the switch. Now all the cameras are lost because the cameras do not have a signal. Now this is how quick it finds it. I'm gonna hit the switch on. And voila, just like that, it is done. Now, when it comes to the monitor that I can see the cameras, the monitor is great, it's a wireless monitor. The cameras do have to be hooked up to a battery, the monitor does have to be hooked up to a power source, but they do not have to be connected to each other. So with the wireless monitor, I can move it around. 
at nighttime, I leave the monitor right next to my bed. You can have it set to show one camera at a time or all four cameras at the time. It also has a recording function where you can leave all four cameras recording and then it will just override the oldest clip. Another cool thing about the camera is it has some sort of night vision. I'm going to tell you it's not the best, but it's better than nothing. So for security, how I use it is when I get to my camping spot, obviously at nighttime, I will have the monitor on and then I can just leave it next to my bed. That way, if I hear something at night, I can just look at that instead of opening the doors and so forth. Another good thing about it is if I do leave my camper um, and go excursioning, I can leave the monitor on and it can record anything around it. In case something does happen, I might be able to see who did it. I'm not counting on that, but just in case I have that for security. Now probably the function that you guys will use it more for is actually driving down the road. With the monitor being wireless, I can take the monitor away from the side of my bed and actually keep it next to me in my car. Now that is great for driving, driving through traffic, parking. I can get all four of the cameras streamed to the device that's sitting next to me in my car and I can make sure I'm not hitting anything like gas stations, RV parking lots, tight trails that I go down. It helps out tremendously. Now when it comes to the usage in my car, here it is. This is how I keep it. I'm sure I could find out a better mounting option. But as you can see, I have all the same footage front camera so I can see where I am, right, left, and rear camera simply just plugs into the cigarette outlet. Now guys, I'm going to be honest, there is like a three second lag. The system says there's no lag, but there's definitely a lag. So just be aware of that. It's not 100% a perfect system, but it's a system that I find very helpful if you just know its flaws. So guys, let's jump into my office. I'll show you a quick diagram of how I wire this so you can get yours all hooked up. All right, guys, so here is the basic simple wiring. We got the four cameras over here. We have a positive lead and a negative lead. Um, going into the camper. So this goes right into the ceiling. If you look at my uh, lighting video, you'll see there's a hole right in the roof here where I put my lighting uh, wires through as well as the camera lights. From there, it goes into a fuse panel. All the negatives go into the fuse panel. And then from there, a positive lead goes to that main power switch I was telling you about. And if that's switched on, then the positive feeds power to all of the cameras giving the cameras power obviously because i'm boondocking i don't want these to take power when i'm not using it so i hit that switch hope that helps so there you go guys hopefully that helps you out if you want to figure out how to put a camera system on your camper so until next time guys be sure to like subscribe check out the links down below to support the channel and i'll see you then